yeah, basically I kind of was like, ah, oh, look, mate, we'll, we'll just wait till it rains again and um, we'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, then we had Jack uh, go over there to see if he could get, get to the uh, bottom of it. Yeah. And he went above and beyond and ripped off everything and done everything and... Pulled it apart. Pulled it, it apart. A investigation, as Jack tends to do. He's very yeah. stubborn when it comes to leaks. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he will sit there for an hour or two while we'll, while we'll sit there for 15 minutes going like, all right, come on. Yeah. Um, and I think Jack found that the top uh, gutter, which is, so it's a, so it's come, it's not like a box gutter where you have two roofs meeting like this. It's more like the end of the roof and then you've got a, uh, the end of your roof, then you've got an eave. I, I can, let me do a little drawing. Are you sure? <laughs> I probably don't need to. So right now, Jack's showing you a diagram. <laughs> But we've got a, a roof coming down like this. Then we've got our fascia here. And we've got our box gutter kind of coming in like this and up. Uh, and then our eave is here. And then we have the downpipe coming through. Yep, that's right, through, through there. Through yep. There. Am I right, Jack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. Like so, so maybe yeah. something like that. Yep. So the, 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 the odd thing about this is that you actually have your eave here. Oh, this is not correct, actually. That's all right. Jack will be showing your diagram right now. In the yes. diagram, there will be a wall. <laughs> and the, what, what's happening is, is that because this is blocking, usually, say, if you have a downpipe and it's blocking at the bottom, that wall is just going to overflow on the outside of the house. It's going to, you've got your eave, and it's just going to be yeah. popping out around the, around the, the nozzle here. It's popping out around there. And it's just going to be running down onto the exterior. It's not really a problem. But when you've got yeah. this, Internally, underneath an eave here, and then you've got and your, your suffit, suffit board's going to come across like this, and it's going to be sitting on your brick wall. When that overflows, now that water's got a track to go straight down your straight yeah. down the wall, the internal of the wall. And yep. Find its way down, hit the ceiling, and find its way to the leak. Yeah, running down the wall, wall cavities, which is um, no. what we found. <laughs> and then, yeah, but. Also, we've got a little neat trick here as well. If you roofers do not know how to find the small end and big end, even though sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not, you grab the same size nozzle and you just whack it in like that and that's how you know it works. Because if you try to put it in the back end, she ain't fitting. As well, on this this site's a little bit easier because yeah, you do lines, have the crimped ends, and you'll see these crimp lines fade kind of near the top, and they're very pronounced at the bottom because that that's crushed in there to make that small. And this is an ace gutter to fit in your top. That's ace. ace. But you'll get other uh, manufacturers who'll do like just a streamline. It's, you can't you can barely tell the difference, and you gen tend to just get your measuring tape out and look for a five mil difference. But this mm. is a little bit of a trick to do. Yeah. Cool. We sum that up. Now, uh, yeah, I nearly, I nearly lost it. <laughs>